What an amazing discovery. Egypt's Ministry of Antiquities has announced that dozens of mummified cats and wooden cat statues have been discovered in the ancient city of Memphis, Egypt. Along with the mummified cats and wooden cat statues, a painted wooden cobra and a crocodile sarcophagi were also found. Objects such as amulets, canopic jars, and papyri baskets were also discovered in the tomb. Ancient Egyptians were often buried with their mummified animals and statues as a way to bring pets with them to the afterlife. The animals were also buried as food offerings for not just the deceased, but as offerings to the gods as well. The ministry is hoping the discoveries will attract more tourists to visit Egypt's heritage sites. Here's more on mummies. Jackpot An Egyptian mission has found an ancient necropolis south of Cairo containing several tombs, artifacts, and a fully preserved mummy. Archaeologists near the site near Minya, Egypt, uncovered a large number of burial shafts believed to be more than 2,000 years old. The mummified remains of a high priest of the Egyptian god Thoth were unearthed in the tombs along with 1,000 figurines and four jars made of alabaster. The team also found 40 limestone sarcophagi of various shapes and sizes, which may have belonged to the priest's family members. Excavation on the site began in late 2017 and is expected to continue on for at least five years. Egypt is planning to use the recent discoveries to revive tourism in the area, which was a popular destination for antiquity sightseeing until the political turmoil in 2011. Mummified body discovered inside yacht near the Philippine Sea. Authorities are investigating the mysterious death of a German adventurer whose mummified body was found in a yacht adrift in Southeast Asian waters. On February 25th, an abandoned yacht was found 62 miles off the coast of Barobol in Surangao de Sur in the Philippines. Two fishermen spotted the white yacht around 4.30 p.m. and investigated after noticing the broken sail. Inside the vessel, they discovered the mummified body of a man slumped over a desk in the radio room. Documents and photos recovered on the yacht identified the dead man as 59-year-old German adventurer Manfred Fritz Bayohat. Bayohat is believed to have started sailing 20 years ago with his wife Claudia, who died of cancer in 2010. It is unclear how long Bayohat has been dead, but the last reported sighting of him was in Mallorca in 2009. With no evidence of foul play, it's possible Biohat died of natural causes. High temperatures and the dry, salty air provided conditions in which his body was preserved. The German embassy in Manila is currently locating the adventurer's remaining family, which may include a daughter working as the captain of a freight vessel. Mummies found after Egypt unearths new burial chamber. Egypt has discovered an ancient burial chamber containing at least 17 mummies that are more than 1,500 years old. Authorities hope the find will help boost the country's struggling tourism industry. The burial chamber was found in the province of Minya, about 250 kilometers south of Cairo. The chamber is 8 meters below ground and was first detected last year by radar. At least 17 fully intact mummies have been discovered inside the chamber so far. Experts say there could be more. Egypt's tourism industry has declined sharply from 14.7 million visitors in 2010 to just 5.4 million visitors in 2016. Authorities hope the new discovery will bring tourists back into the country. Ancient tombs discovered in Egypt. Egyptian archaeologists have discovered ancient tombs dating back 2,000 years to the 27th dynasty and the Greco-Roman era. Three Ptolemaic tombs were recently uncovered at a dig site in Egypt's Minya province. The tombs are of a different archaeological design to the ones unearthed at the same site in 2015, which were 20 tombs in a series of ancient catacombs. The first tomb features a perpendicular burial shaft engraved in the rock, which leads to a single burial chamber containing four sarcophagi and nine burial holes. The second tomb has a similar shaft but contains two chambers. To the north is the first chamber, with its two sarcophagi and six burial holes, one of which was for a small child. At the end of the shaft is the second, which holds the remains of a wooden coffin. Excavation on the third tomb is still underway. Bones from the other two tombs identified men, women, and children of different ages, suggesting the site was a large city cemetery. Egypt's Ministry of Antiquities announced the discovery on their Facebook page, calling it very important and saying work is underway to reveal more secrets. 
This Utah company will happily mummify your pet or you. Salt Lake City, Utah isn't exactly where you'd expect to find mummies, but Some Mum, a company based in the city, offers clients the chance to mummify their deceased pets or even themselves. And while the process of mummifying one's pet is quite costly at at least four grand per animal, a pet owner's love knows no bounds. The 90-day process begins by making neat incisions on the body from where internal organs are removed, washed, and then put back. The entire animal's body is then immersed in a powerful, highly permeable chemical. The exact composition is a secret. After a good soak, the animal is taken out and oils are applied to the pet's body before cotton gauze is wrapped around it. The mummified body is then encased in layers of fiberglass and resin before it's sealed in a sarcophagus and given back to its owner. Corky Raw, some mum's founder, started researching mummification in the late 1970s by practicing on cadavers donated by a local medical school, meaning his company has at least 30 years of mummy-making experience. But if that's not enough to sway you, then perhaps this will. Corky Raw himself was mummified in 2008, and his mummy is now displayed at some mum next to the mummy of his beloved cat, Oscar. Aww. Archaeologists may have discovered ancient Egyptian queen Nefertiti's tomb. A British archaeologist might be on the verge of making one of the biggest discoveries in the field's history. University of Arizona archaeologist Nicholas Reeves believes new evidence may have located the remains of Egyptian Queen Nefertiti in a chamber in the tomb of King Tutankhamun. Reeves' theory is based on an analysis of detailed scans of the tomb that reveal two previously concealed doors. Reeves believes that one of the doors likely leads to a storeroom. The other door could lead to a room containing the remains of Queen Nefertiti. More tests are needed to confirm Reeves' theory.